November 29th, the second day of Advent. My dear friends of Christ, as we continue with our devotion to the Jesse tree, let us contemplate this scripture passage from Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 and following. Now each day, it's important with your family to read sacred scripture. Not to simply go through it really quickly, but truly to read it and to pray it together. Sacred scripture is God's divine word. It is his revelation. It is truly spirit breathed. It's inspired scripture. And so it is living. It is living because it is the word of God and the word of God is very much alive. And so you and I, to live scripture and to have it be alive in us, we must have a truly intimate connection with sacred scripture. Because St. Jerome tells us, the fourth century saint, that ignorance of scripture is ignorance of Christ. And so you and I, let us open up our Bibles and let us together read Genesis 1, verse 26 through 31. Then God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish and the sea, the birds of the air and the cattle, and over all the wild animals and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the divine image, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food, and to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Saints of the Making, today's ornament, then, of course, is going to be the very ones God fashioned in his image and in his likeness. And they are embracing the earth, the earth over which they have stewardship, the earth over which they have care. Together, all of us, male or female, no matter where we are in the world, we are all of us called to care for our common home, as Pope Francis has said. How can you and I do that? How can we take better care of our earth, of our common home? And therefore, how can you and I take better care of one another? There are many, many ways we can do that. First of all, we can say to someone that we love them. If they've hurt us, we can say that we forgive them. And then we can make sure that we take very good care of our earth by taking good care of whatever we have in our refrigerators, eating what's there and not wasting anything, making sure that we recycle, making sure that we use things over and over again that can be used over and over again, that we waste nothing that we have. There are so very many creative ways for you and I to have proper stewardship over the earth that God has entrusted to us as we've just heard from sacred scripture. We are called to subdue the earth, to have dominion over it. It doesn't mean to abuse it. No, not at all. In fact, it's quite the opposite. It's to have proper responsibility, to have accountability for what God has entrusted to you and to me. And so saints in the making, as a family, as individuals, consider some way that you can embrace the very great gift of this land, this earth that God has entrusted to us, to you and to me, and how you and I can take better care of it, how we can waste less, and how we can give more to the earth and to one another. 
One of the best ways to do that, my dear friends in Christ, is by making space for grace. 